right guys so welcome back to my channel the last video i did was basically me showing you guys all of my business supplies that i find to be essential when it came when it comes to running my business week when it comes to running my business so today we're gonna be doing um Basically me showing you guys how I basically handle my inventory, which is what I thought I was going to do in the last video, but I ended up not even getting to do that because I just showed you guys all my stuff that I use or whatever the case may have been. So today we are going to be showing you guys how we basically inspect inventory once it comes from our vendor. So, without further ado, let us get straight into this video. So, as I mentioned in the last video, business essentials is your inventory. So, this right here is my inventory that has come from my vendor. I did switch vendors, and let me tell you guys, this vendor I love so much. Their shipping, even though their shipping is a little bit more expensive, I get my clothes literally i can order my clothes on the 10th and i have my clothes by the 22nd so that's like a really big thing for me when it comes to my business is to make sure that i'm able to have my clothes as quickly as possible with my last vendor i definitely struggled with shipping because they literally took almost a month to ship things to me and that's not the vibes especially when you're doing fashion based things because baby was in style this week might not be in style next week and that is just not it so one of the biggest things i want to do when it comes to stuff is basically i just want to make sure that my inventory is all correct so i'm gonna pull up on my laptop what i ordered and check those numbers because that is what I need to make sure about. Because, baby, if them number's not correct, they gonna have to come me a big inch. Eh. Okay. so in terms of is my inventory correct that is a yes so I have all of the pieces that I need in order for me to be able to start now going in and basically putting everything all together so I already did my inventory on my site so I had already once I ordered everything, went ahead and put in what I ordered into the site and stuff like that. So that's one less thing that I don't have to do when it comes to the inventory. One less thing to do when it comes to inventory. One less thing. Always work smarter, guys, and not harder. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this one just so that way we can do this and then we can speed it up and check everything a little later so you see something like this right here which is not much but i do want to get that out of there just for inventory purposes and we are checking to make sure that these items are good so for those of you who are watching this video this is our baby blue mini dress right here it is super cute super comfortable it is had it does have a one shoulder detailing with a high neck i will insert a picture for you guys to see how this outfit looks on our model aka me <laughs> and it was really cute it's really comfortable it's great for a night out it's great for a dinner it's really just great to like and it hugs your curves in all the right places so that's one of the best things i love about this dress actually because it gives your girl body yaddy 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 yaddy. But for this 
item here I'm just going to go ahead and I don't think they put a tag on this one so that's really good um, the next thing I'm going to do is to find a place where it can go through my biggest thing when it comes to tagging products is just making sure that I'm not tagging it somewhere where it will create a hole. So I do try to go for places that's within the seam area, which is right here. Um, yeah, so I would probably go for like a seam area or maybe like an area like under the arm or somewhere where if let's say it does create a hole, it is not too pressing. So, as I mentioned before, we are going to take our Bel Air Co. hang tags. We are going to then insert a hole in there like so. And let us go ahead and do this. Now, I am a little nervous about puncturing this one only because I don't want to create a damaged item. There we go. So as you guys can see, this one now has a hang tag on it. It does have two though because <clears throat> the first one I don't think went through. No, the first one got stuck in the thingy. Um, my only issue with is ooh, probably gonna be folding this because that little neckline you guys that neckline is everything so what i am gonna try to do is i'm going to try and fold this to the best of my ability <sighs> so we're gonna flip it over like so and package it like that I will say, and I do have to give it to my vendor, they are really good when it comes to packaging items like this. Because y'all, your girl, she is not the best. I might fold it over one more time. Do you guys think I should fold it over one more time? Like one more fold like that. And boom. There we have it. So now that we have that, we are going to then go ahead and pull from our polyplastic mailers, which... Is trying to be an asshole and give me all her time, y'all. Okay. Brood. So now that we have pulled from our polyplastic millers, the next thing I'm going to do is now insert this item inside of here. So let me just double check which way it goes. Because my biggest thing is I'm tr I am try not to put the clothes facing the side that does have the warning label. As you guys can see, I want the clothes to be on this side where it's clear. And there's nothing else there to distract from the item. So we are now going to go ahead and as I mentioned before, we're going to now slip our item into the packaging that is here. Oh, this is what I'm saying like I don't really be knowing how to like oh so okay so we're gonna put the item in this way I could have literally left it not I, I didn't have to triple fold it actually now that I'm looking at this like I could have okay so we're gonna take it out and we're going to actually attempt to refold this item actually because my biggest thing is I just want you to be able to see the hang tag when you purchase your item because when my customer opens their thing I want them to be able to know like yes Bel Air Co has came through with the outfit for me so let's just slip this in here 
So I'm gonna be like really, I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but it is a little hard trying to package some of these items. Y'all, I feel like I'm just talking, 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 talking. Let's go ahead and try to like slip it in and all the way. Okay. There we go. Let me just pull up on that a little bit right there. Okay. So now that the item is in the packaging i'm gonna just try to fix it so it looks a little more put together um you guys can see like i'm trying to like pull on it fix it make it look a little bit more put together and then i'm now going to flip it over attempt to fix the back just as much as i possibly can then the next thing we're going to do is we are now going to peel off this piece right here i keep um Y'all, I'm burping all over the place. I keep this little box next to me just for trash purposes. And now we are going to flip over and seal off this item. And this is where our stickies come in handy. But also at the same time, I could have also... Well, well I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. This is already 21 minutes and your girl ain't even put a tune on yet. Like, I don't really like that. I don't think I like that. So, we had our small, mediums. Where's our small? Because right now we're going to do our smalls in this outfit. So, this is my smalls. Some are missing because, as I said, I did have items from previous that I did not finish selling off. And that's what we're going to use. So here is my small sticker and I'm just going to place it on the packaging. Now, as I mentioned to you guys before, I could have easily. All right, so this is what it's going to look like when it reaches our customer. So now I could have easily taken this small sticker and also have put it on here on the hang tag. So that way, when the customer sees the item, they know that it's thing, that it's the correct size. The only thing about that, which I actually might start doing, you guys, I might start doing that the stickers on the hang tags. Hold on, wait a minute. I think I might like that a little bit more. Down, and now, guys, we are going to go ahead and speed up this video so that you guys can see the rest of everything and how it goes. The next item we're gonna start the package is going to be this mesh bodysuit. I call them bodysuits, but I'm pretty sure they're actually called jumpsuits. Um, I just call all of them bodysuits. So this is in the size small, and this is our expression full body mesh see-through bodysuit it is so beautiful so amazing this item also as you guys can see does contain some stretch to it so it's really good for those of you who may be a small but you guys do have a little junk in that trunk this is perfect for you it also features a turtleneck sort of collar thing just like with the baby blue mini dress i will be inserting a picture of what this item looks like on our model 
so this is just really cute i love the writing that was on this and that's what really initially drew me into using this item was the wording on it i felt like it was the perfect bit of sophisticated yet still giving very much ratchet which i kind of like y'all okay this item is something that's perfect for you to definitely wear out to the club anything of that nature is our surge me jumpsuit so this one is actually a jumpsuit i this one is actually i guess what people would call a jumpsuit because it is short and it's not long no this is what people would call a bodysuit because it's short and not long the jumpsuits are the long ones so yeah so this one is the thing um when you guys look in the picture because i'm like i said i'm going to insert the pictures of what the outfits look like on the models when you guys see it, you'll notice that in the pictures, we are wearing it this way. So we're wearing it with the zipper in the front, but that's because that's how we wanted to wear it. So the best thing about this one is that you can actually wear it with the zipper in the front or with the zipper in the back. So it's sort of like a two-way outfit and it's super cute like i really love it the quality in this is amazing it hugs your curves in all the right places um it also has really good stretch to it if you guys can see i know some of us might be a little skinny in the waist but you know those legs are where we have our issues and it has really good stretch in the leg area for women who do have smaller waist and wider hips so that's like one of my favorite things this outfit i think will look really really good for a night out in the club definitely you can pair this with a regular pair of open toe sandal heels or you can pair this with some thigh high boots either way you wear it it's still gonna rock and it's still gonna look super amazing and that is just the best part about this like i just really really love this do you guys love this because i really like it so much um